Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because I'm making um, dinner. It's Saturday around 4.50 in the afternoon and I'm making chicken fajitas guys. I'm making chicken fajitas for most of us. My husband's going to have pasta um, like usual, basically most of the time. Um, so I'm making, I'm, I'm doing that. So what I'm doing is I'm starting to cut up the peppers. Okay, I'm gonna slice the peppers up. I'm doing it on top of the stove. I have chicken defrosting in the, I took chicken out early today, but it didn't defrost all the way. So I'm just finishing it off in the um, microwave to get it nice and thawed. And um, then we'll cut it up. A lot of prep work, you know, but then it, once the prep work is done, you know, you stick it all in the pan together and it's not really that time consuming. And it's like a one pot meal, you know? Yeah, I don't know, my appetite's not that great still. And I got news for you today, guys. I woke up today and I felt worse than I did yesterday. I really did. I woke up, I had this big coughing fit in my head up, literally. And I felt like somebody ran me over with a truck. So I just finished my steroids yesterday. I'm still taking the antibiotic. I still have like three pills of rose left. So um, I'm going to see how I feel once I finish the, the antibiotic and all of that. And if I don't feel any better by like Tuesday, I'm going to go back to the doctor and get checked out. I just want to make sure everything is okay. This COVID, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you. It is a nightmare. So, yeah, so we're expecting um, a snow ice storm probably um, tomorrow night into Monday. Um, so, just getting prepared for that. We got prepared, we, went, we had an Aldi um, um, delivery today, which you guys see in my Aldi, uh, my Aldi haul, on my uh, video. Um, so we're prepared for that. Um, first real snowstorm. We had a little, a little something last week couple of days like a little bit you know nothing big or anything so yeah so this is going to be probably the first I mean they're saying so we could get like a foot I think but it might be just ice I don't freaking know all I know is that I'm glad everybody's home I mean I'm not glad that everybody's home COVID down but I'm glad that nobody's out in it because that's one thing I hate about always worrying about my kids and my husband you know be out in the driving in, this, in the bad weather I hate it couldn't deal with that. So yeah, so that's the only piece of mind I have is that everybody will be home. <coughs> COVID stinks. Yes, it does. I feel like I'm never gonna get rid of COVID, guys. Like I, I'm not. I'm not even joking you. Like I just feel like, okay, I get it. I got it a second time. Am I gonna get it again? Like, am I gonna get it a third time? Am I gonna get it a fourth time? Like, what is, when is this gonna be over? Like, I'm really like, I don't even know what to say anymore. And I know everybody's in the same boat, not everybody, but a lot of people are in the same boat. And isn't it frustrating? And then you hear this one having it, that one having it now. It's just a whole barrel of baloney. Just wanted to go away. We all just want to be well, right? Happy, healthy. Because guys, you can have all the money in the world. If you don't have your health, you ain't got nothing. And that's the truth, the God's honest truth. If you don't have your health, you can have all the money in the world. Money ain't gonna matter. It's been proven. Well, you have to have a life of substance. I mean, who wouldn't want money? Yeah, I mean, money just makes your life easier, you know, happier. Well, it makes your life easier, so therefore you're happier. But so money's not, money's involved, but I guess it is directly involved. 
Uh, who knows, guys? You can't get away from it. Just can't get away. I already cut up two onions. I'm going to cut this one up. I'm cutting three onions up. Tuck your fingers in. You just got to put your fingers like this. Just keep moving back with your fingers, with your hand, and there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna um, put the pan on in a couple of minutes and then I have to start cutting the chicken up. I don't feel like doing that, but gotta do it. And then I'll put the frying pan on. I'm gonna saute them, you know, on top of the stove. Um, so I'll put the frying pan on, then I'll put the stuff in and I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so I'm cutting up the chicken. Um, Cutting the fat off. I just don't feel like touching with it. My hands are I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job so far of not having to do that. But I don't know how much longer I can do it. But you hear something sizzling. It is the, um, the peppers and onions. I'm just slicing these in little slivers. Small little slivers. We don't like them huge. Okay. Get this one sliced down the middle. I love these frozen chicken breast guys, like I said. I really do. I mean, I'm always one for buying fresh chicken cutlets, and I still do. But, um,. It's just that you get a lot in the bag. You know, you could buy a five-pound bag, a two-pound bag, or whatever. I buy usually two bags. Depends on where I'm at. If I go to Walmart, sometimes I'll buy the big, big bag, the big five-pound bag. If um, I go to Aldi, I usually just get two of the, I think they're two-pound bags. But um, I just really like it because you can take out, like, you know, if you want to make a chicken salad, if you want to make, you know, salad for chicken for like it's just a salad, or you can just take a few sack here and there, or you take the whole bag out to force the whole bag. I just really like it. It's very, very convenient. Very convenient. All right, I'm gonna keep chopping up this chicken, and then I'm gonna go check the onions and the peppers, and I'll let you guys see it in a minute. Here's uh, all the fajita mix the stuff together. I sauteed the chicken and all the peppers and stuff, and now it's just it's cooking a little bit longer. I'm gonna shut it off in a minute and keep it covered. I have water starting to boil, well, almost, for uh, Bill's um, pasta. Um, uh, we're making, tonight we're making um, canned clam, um, red clam sauce. I don't know if you guys ever had this before, but I grew up with it. My mom used to make it all the time, the red clam sauce. Billy prefers the white, but by accident we bought these, and um, I mean he likes them, so so he'll he'll eat them not to waste them, but um, he definitely prefers the white. But the red is so good. I grew up on this, guys. Amazing. If you haven't tried it, try the red clam sauce. Yeah. So that's what's for dinner, guys. Um, so I'm just and Jenny's having leftover tacos. There are brownies that I made. I already have somebody took a piece out of it. That's typical. You know how that goes. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get everything ready, and we will come back. So here we are, guys. I decided to just have the fajitas on a plate with some little cheese on it, and my son made sour um, li um, lime sour cream, guys. It's so delicious. I usually used to you make that when I make my um, homemade egg rolls, and so he loves that, so he made it. So I have a little bit of that on top of it, and I, have, I had a cravings for some broccoli. I don't feel, feel like really eating heavy. I still have a lot of stuff going on up in my head and all that, and it's not uh, just not feeling that great. 
So yeah, so this is what's for dinner tonight, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the bottom and the notification button with the bell if you guys want to be notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.